In this problem, we want to find the distance d that a man falls from a bridge before his bungee cord brings him to rest and recoils. He falls 15 meters before the cord, regarded as a spring, stretches by an amount x. We can apply the work energy theorem, which states that the kinetic energy of a mass is equal to the total work done on that mass. At the bottom of his fall, the man's kinetic energy will be zero. Therefore, we can set the total work done on the man equal to zero. The work done by the two conservative forces of gravity and the spring action of the cord can be obtained from the changes in their respective potential energies. The work done by the force of gravity is therefore the mass of the man times the acceleration of gravity times the total distance fallen, which is just 15 plus x. The work done by the cord spring force is given by negative 1 half kx squared, where k is the spring constant and x is the amount that the cord is stretched. So the total work done is going to be the sum of these two. Plugging in the given values for the spring constant, the mass of the man, and the acceler acceleration of gravity, we get the following equation. Simplifying this, we obtain a quadratic equation for which we can use the quadratic formula to solve. Recall that the quadratic formula is given by negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where the coefficients a, b, and c are determined by a quadratic equation in the form a x squared plus bx plus c. Identifying the coefficients of each term in our equation for the work done and substituting into the quadratic equation formula, we obtain the following.
computing this with a calculator, we get the two solutions, x equals 37.43 meters, and x equals negative 10.71 meters. Since we want the maximum downward distance the core to stretch, 37.43 meters is the correct value. The given quantities have only two significant figures, so we will round x to two signif significant figures as well. That is, x is equal to 37 meters. Finally, we add this to the first 15 minute meters the man falls to get the total distance fallen. So the total, total distance the man falls is equal to 52 meters.